Hey guys, Big A Bossman here, and today I am going to show you how to get custom skins for League of Legends. It's a very fast and simple thing to do, quick tutorial as well, so uh, let's get into it. What you're going to need is WinRAR or WinZip and a new folder called Skin Installer or whatever you want to rename it. And that's all you need for this. And uh, you're going to need to go to two different websites, but that's fast and simple. But uh, before we get into that, I just want to tell you, these skins are only going to be able to be seen by you and whoever has that same skin installed on the Skin Ultimate installer. So just a heads up, only you and other people who have that same skin installed will be able to see it. So now that you know that, we're going to go to the first website. Link will be in the description below. It'll be labeled Skins, Skin Installer. So you're going to click on that. I'm going to open my internet. It's going to take you to this red, very red site, and it's going to have all these updates. And you're going to click download version 3.335. Now, as this video gets older, there will be new, newer versions, so just click on the newest version or whatever number's there. And it shouldn't take that long to install. It'll be a zip file. And uh, this is where WinZip comes in. You're going to need to extract it into the folder on your desktop. So once that's done downloading, you're going to open it up, and you're going to... Make sure you have the whole entire thing, not just the folder, but the whole entire thing. And uh, you're going to extract it. I'm going to unzip it, which is the same thing extracting, but it's called extracting in WinRAR. So unzip to a selected folder. Find that folder on your desktop. Skin installer. And then click unzip or extract. So once that's done, you'll have uh, all the files pop up here. And uh, you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to see Skin Installer Ultimate. It's going to be an application. It's going to have uh, 9 20 2012 or whatever date it's been modified. Last time people, someone updated it is 9 20 2012. So you're going to open that up, left click it, and it will open and it'll, ha it'll start loading. Start. You'll have this first time running this program thing. Click OK. I'm going to exit this. And it's going to start loading right above this really cool colorful bar. It's going to start loading, go straight to 45%. And that's going to take a little bit to in to load the whole way. So while we're waiting, I'm going to show you how to get the skin portion of it. So once that's done, you're going to go to leaguecraft.com. And that'll load up. And... Leecraft pretty much it has builds for your champions and it has a bunch of custom skins and a bunch of other stuff. It's pretty much a it's a website dedicated to League of Legends. It's really cool. A lot of cool skins for every champion in the game. A lot of people put a lot of work into these skins and a lot they're actually really cool. I have an Ash that's actually she doesn't shoot frost arrows, but she shoots fire arrows, which is really cool. That's my skin. I really like it. Some of the skins have thumbnails like when you're loading in game, some of them don't. Uh, that's all right though. They're all in game. So once you get the lead craft, what you're gonna do is gonna you're gonna click on mods and art, and you, the tab will come down, and uh, you're gonna click on all skins, and that'll load. And right about here will right about here will be every champion there is to get, and uh, all the letters and everything. So I'm gonna click on Blitzcrank because I don't use him much, but I really like him as a champion. So it's going to load up a lot. Some of these skins are fairly inappropriate. There's like topless champions. I think there's a topless Lux. Uh, with Ash, you can see her nipples. It's pretty cool, I guess, if you like that kind of stuff in games. So you're going to scroll down, see all the skins they have. There's a bunch and a bunch for stuff. And uh, I'm going to pick this Rusty Steam Golem. It's pretty cool. Um, you'll see the thumbnail. He has a thumbnail right there. That's what will be in your loading screen when you see it. You see him in-game here. And you see him in-game here. It's really cool, actually. It looks it's nice detailed and everything. So once you scroll down, you're going to see the download. It's going to be an arrow. And it might say download. It might not. Depends on what the website wants to do. And you're going to click download it. It's going to do this. But this is just going to go right away. And you're going to have a number, then a dot zip. So once that's done, that's your, don't extract this, leave that the way it is. And your thing should be done or almost done installing. Mine should be done. It'll be done in a few seconds. Um, if you're still waiting, 
once it's actually done you'll have a thing pop up right here like right there exactly and it will be the pretty much final finalization of the download and install of the ultimate installer for the skin that shouldn't take it long at all at the most like 30 seconds it's this whole entire process is pretty fast once you actually once you get this done this part installed completely you'll never have to do this again so you can just download a skin and put it right in and it's very fast very easy so once you get all this done you're gonna go into your downloads find it right there you're gonna drag it into your desktop exit this and you're gonna see add files and add directory up here don't click either of them don't click any of this stuff what you're gonna do is drag your file over onto the add files tab so you're gonna click this and drag it drag it onto the add files tab and it should come up add four four files every skin will have a different amount of files usually I am done adding files finalize the skin click that click OK then click OK again and it should take you to the second tab called install existing skin now you see it was added to the installer on the 30th of November 2012 but it's not installed yet so to install it you're gonna left click on and check that right next to his name and you're gonna click install you're gonna hit save done and then OK you want to make sure that says skip zero files if it said skip a number of files more than zero like one or above you're gonna want to install the skin again off lead craft and do that again and now you see the installed it says the date 11 30 2012 and it's done you have the new skin for blitzcrank or whatever champion you used or got the download for so guys uh thanks for watching i hope this helped like comment subscribe and as always be a boss